Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on automatic t automatically reloading TNT cannon with pistons, of course. So what this device I've just created does is it has it's basically just a TNT cannon modified so that it can automatically reload itself with um, lines of TNT. So basically, it's pretty simple. Two buttons, reload, reload right here, and fire right here. So what reload does is it sends a current through here, and it basically just tells um, the various pistons. It goes up here and it goes, well, first, well, it kind of all works at the same time. So basically, this retracts. When the current goes through this, it retracts that piston. And what it does to this piston is it pushes this down. So what happens is button pushed, that retracts, this pushes down. Um, then when the current goes off, since it's a button, girls, oh, sorry, so when it was on steam. So then once the current um, goes back to normal, um, this will re push back out and it'll load the TNT there. Now what this sand is for is the sand will fall automatically. So the sand falls down once this retracts and it pushes back out once the current, um, after the burst of uh, current. So you can keep pushing that on. Now I didn't want to ha have some, well that's kind of like the most efficient way to do it without more extensive wiring, just having four sand for five TNT, which is pretty nice. So we're just gonna fire this up, we're gonna press the little button, and it's gonna push the TNT right there. <coughs> Excuse me, right there. Now, what the firing mechanism does is, if you push the button, it inverts the power so that these torches are always off, and when they're on, it'll ignite the TNT. So then it goes back here, it reinverts it, so it goes into this, now, of course, I could have a torch right there. I just didn't really feel like it. I just wanted to have more control over the timing of this last shot with these inverters. I mean, yeah, the repeaters, so I could time it more properly so I can get the most bang for the buck. For my buck, whatever. Um, so I just flip the switch. Those go first, then that activates. And now, of course, you can make it go a lot farther if you have more TNT. Now, what really adds distance and speed to a TNT cannon is having multiple layers um, on, like multiple layers of TNT going down. Now, I'm working on that for your future designs, of course. What I might do is I might have one TNT coming from this side and one TNT coming from that side. Now, it'll be a lot more complex. Now, um, I'm going to release simplistic versions of my piston contraptions because I know a lot of people are starting out, and it'd be much better for them if they start out with something more simple and work up to something like I am, because I've been playing this game for almost a whole entire year now, and I've acquired quite a bit of knowledge. So yes, um, you can just keep on reloading this, and fire it. It's pretty simple, it's pretty fast. Now, you can make these inverters a bit more now on three we'll get one more repeater and because we might be cutting this a bit close um on time wise for the tnt to blow up we'll put another one in there i can see the stand is pushing that tnt in there put that on we'll ignite that now this is going a bit farther it's pretty good can give it a bit more time I think that's about the maximum willing to go. So we got two more shots left. So this is great for like a castle war server and whatnot. So yeah, that goes pretty decently far. Maybe if you want to, this would be better if you like put it on a mountain, I guess. And after we fire this last shot, we'll go over something else. Well, well, we're not gonna fire yet, but. Okay, since with cannons, you need, since, well, alright, this, the, the shell block, whatever, um, the TNT block that is going to be fired, it kind of lobs over, so it arcs on the firing, so this block needs to be empty right here for it to go maximum range. So what I've done here is, 
I've used the repeater's ability to pass a signal through a block. Sorry about that Skype thing. Um, but yes, it goes through the block into that, which relieves that space for a block right there. So it's kind of a simple little addition to make it go a, a little bit farther, farther. There we go. Um, so yeah. So yes, I have plenty more piston video piston videos coming. Uh, we have our new community community channel, the Game Gathering, which will be posting some stuff on there. And if you're also interested in, say, what is it called, um, being part of a time lapse build, my server we're doing a complete rebuild of our spawn, our our main world. So we're looking for maybe 10 to 20 people to come on tomorrow. Let's see about what time. Well, more information will be posted on our website, mitchellcraft.net, which will be posted down in, this, in the description below. And basically, it's just a great chance, a good chance to, it's a great opportunity to come out, meet some new people, have some fun, be on YouTube as well. And yeah, you might want to come check us out. Um, now, basically, what's going to happen is everyone's going to be able to be, everyone's going to be, everyone's going to have, oops. Sorry about that. But everyone's going to have inventory. Everyone's going to be have the ability to spawn stuff. Now we're going to have a specific design in mind for our spawn town. It's just going to be a really, really big thing. We're going to have skyscrapers, housing district, and everything. So yeah, we might want to come out and do that. So again, I have many more videos coming um, of pistons, Minecraft basically anything you guys want me to make mm, excuse me so yes um please comment rate and subscribe subscribe mainly because i get a lot of views on my videos but a lot of people just i guess they're not interested in my stuff fully because i have a lot of content coming out every day i have one to two videos now and i guess just really helps me out is all i'm saying so thanks again for watching and i hope to see you guys soon